Hello everybody and welcome to Train Sim World 2. Today we are back on West Cornwall Local, that's the real name. And we're back doing more liveries because there are so many possibilities for this route. Um, amongst them, one of the more obvious ones, Great Western Railway. So let's jump in. Get the master key unlocked, put you in forward and on, get the left hand, uh, sorry, right hand doors open, headlights are already set up, we've already got the Desto set to St. Ives, which is where we're going today, we can get the lights on correctly, so we want crew lights on, heating on, safety systems on, anything else, train lights on, and I think that's about it. We'll shut this door just to make our experience a bit more cosy. We'll lock up the doors. Nice. Set this to forward. Release the brakes. Again, this feels so, so similar to driving one of the, um, like a, uh, um, 356, uh, not a 356, a 456 or something of that nature. Um, because you got the normal, the, the three three step brakes. You got your. To be honest, it feels like any older generation, well, sort of third ish gen. Um, the uh, multiple unit, either electric or diesel, uh, from BR or any of its other contractors from that period of time. So, um, yeah, this is what we're going to be driving today. Uh, the livery is courtesy of Antcraft, who um, uh, is a has made many liveries that have appeared on the channel, um, and I know is a subscriber. So uh, if you're watching, thank you. Um, <clears throat> let's try and grab some decent screenshots. I'll grab some better ones when we're on the beach. But, you know, no such thing as two little screenshots when you're on this route. I mean, it's just does this particular branch is just designed for screenshots. Next stop, Leyland. Uh, so it's cruising through Leyland Saltings, which is not very far up ahead. Got a bouncy track there. Let's get the instrument lights on. Throttle up to four. And we'll pull that back down to three. Come off there. Got to be careful with our brakes. Our speed as we're coming downhill. Here we are, here's Leyland Saltings and the home sig. Is that home? Yeah, that's a home. Protecting the uh, entrance to St. Earth, which should remain at danger more or less all the time. Nice. Let's grab some more screenshots, shall we? So, as I said, the modelling. If, if not anything else, the modelling is done very well. And uh, this is weathered really nicely as well by uh, Handcraft, so it's a very nice model. Uh, sorry, a very nice livery. I've got a fixed uh, distant uh, uh, caution, which I really like. Put some um, brakes on coming into Leyland, running late, but I had to do some other stuff. And uh, another thing worth pointing out, shut up. Um, my Premiere Pro has decided that it will refuse to work at all um, whilst I'm running on this computer, so unfortunately for the next, who knows how long, I'll, I'll try and set something up where I can edit on a different machine, um, which is what most people do anyway, but um, for the next week or so, videos will be more or less completely unedited, which, you know, is a shame, but whatever. Can't have everything. Got to be flexible. No break two. As we come in for a stop. Full service brakes. And let's get the doors open. So about a minute late, but yeah. Took about a minute to introduce the video, so it's alright. So this is unbranded, but um oh sorry, no, it is branded, but I don't just I'm too lazy to install the logo pack, so um doesn't matter. Lock up the doors, get that set to forwards. 
release all the brakes, set that to throttle three, which is um, standard procedure when leaving platforms. Just stick it in throttle three. So um, yeah, if we have a look now, we're running next to uh, an estuary or floodplain or something of the sort. I'll have a look what it actually is. But it's a really loud drone in the background, and it's a bit annoying, but you know whatever. If I go into a map and search tonight, it's just going to tell me the Sydney suburb, which isn't really that useful. <laughs> okay, what is that? Who knows? Probably a heritage railway. That is Newquay. That is St Earth, and that is St Ives. You see, yeah, that is a um, sort of floodplain-ish area. And Carbis Bay is uh, Carbis Bay, funnily enough, who'd have thought? So yeah, hopefully in the next video we'll do some more proper mainline driving, or, you know, as close to mainline as this route really offers. I just don't really have 50 minutes to sit down and drive. But, you know, most people don't, so... But it, it offers really nice flexibility, this route, because if you just got just want to drive something scenic and not super fast, but equally very nice to drive, and you can just drive up and down the size bay line. Um, if you want something more exciting, you can drive one of the faster surfaces up and down the main-ish line, which is nice. So, yes. Okay, 1.2 miles to Carbus Bay. Off the throttle there. Uh, let's get back on the throttle. As I come off, I just lower it a notch. One in 60 grade. It's pretty steep. But it's just a country railway, so it doesn't really make a difference. So I can see the uh, 15 limit comes into St. Ives if you have a quick look on the map. It's yeah, it's just two miles up to St. Ives. The um, journey is scheduled to take 17 minutes. Hopefully we can make back a bit of lost time. We just drop that back down to uh, throttle four. Back up to five. You just gotta be careful and uh, up these grades. Now we can start getting the lovely screenshots of what we came here for. Seaside. Like on this side, grab a few. I really, really like the um, the first generation sprinters. Like this, you know, they are really lovely things to drive. And I think that the modelling and texturing of this route is done very well. Uh, if nothing else, let's keep grabbing screenshots. Still got quite a bit of time left before we arrive into Carver's Bay, so still got quite a bit of time left. We will come off the throttle there and hop on some brakes, because that is quite a steep downhill grade. I'm gonna try and because we're still running in touch late, so I wanna try and pull back some of that time. the platform, we're going to go brakes now, leaving it late deliberately. Okay, then halfway down the platform we'll add a couple more notches of power, well not power, we'll add one more notch of brake. Nice! I like that brake squeal. I know it might not be accurate, but I like it. It's a nice touch. And I realised that engine sounds are completely off here, but at the same time it doesn't really matter to me. Okay, let's get the doors locked. Now. Throttle 3. Oh, 
Okay. Listen to those sounds. I know they're bad, but I mean, they are better than nothing. Get that open. Very nice. Let's close that because it's a bit loud. Okay, so next and final stop, St. Ives. A bit more beans. Grab a few more seaside shots. Nice. I really am ramping up the amount of screenshots that I take when I'm doing I'm driving in general. I mean, it's a good record. You know, if another next gen sim comes out, you can compare. Ah, comparing. It's what human, the only thing humans are good at. Good job that um train sim checkers love checker whatever the frick thing. Train sim CZ <laughs> have made mods to disable the um invisible wall and the uh, other things that prevent you from leaving a scenario. Where's the sun at? That's on this side. Okay. Why'd you get the sun side? Because it's just a bit nicer than taking screenshots. Except if there's something in the background that you want to grab. Nice screenshot of, in this case, that is a lovely Sinai's Bay. Shut up. Okay, we are now going to go into brakes. It's a bit downhill now again. Brake two. Bring our speed down to 15. Back on brake one. Look at that. It's very nice. Might not be the best route, but it's 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 not bad. It does the scenery quite well. Which is good because it means rivets learned something. But you know they did they did learn because this was all a really bad texture. And mind you, it's not a it's an Australian, that's not a brilliant beach, but um, it's better than it was. Granted that. Okay. Come on. Okay, I have to go without a screenshot for this one. Okay, put the DRA on so you can't accelerate any further. Shut up. And we'll whack our tail lights on, you to off, and you. No, you on. Mark light off. Okay. So arriving about 20 seconds late, which isn't the end of the world. Now I've got our marker lights on. Let's grab one last sh one last screenshot. Nice. So, thank you guys very much for watching. I just realised I locked myself in the door there. And I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.